guess it's time for students to go gourmet. Hi, I'm Ellen. And I'm Sophia. And we're the authors of the Students Go Gourmet cookbook series. Our first book is out, Students Go Gourmet, Simple Gourmet for Every Day. And we're working on some quiche recipes for our next book. We thought we'd share some with you. We are going to demystify quiche for you today in three minutes or less. A lot of people hear the word quiche and they go running. They think, I'll never be able to make a quiche. It's too complicated. There's so many different varieties out there. Some people use creme fraiche and no cream, no liquid. Some people use six eggs, some people use two. But we've come up with a standard for you. Don't worry, quiche is not your enemy. It's basically like an omelet in a pie shell. We've done all the research for you. We've looked at scores of recipes and scores of videos and we think that ours is very simple and very basic and fabulous for going to parties. If you have a potluck, this is the one to do. And what we're going to make for you today actually is very economical. Um, Sophia's quiche cost, it has the Gruyere, which is more expensive cheese, we'll talk about that in a minute, cost a little over $11 for one quiche. Uh, my shoestring quiche, which is on a shoestring budget, it's the one you want to choose, is a little over $7. And then my cheeseburger quiche is a little over $8. So all very economical. Definitely. And you can serve them as a light evening snack with guests. Breakfast. Have a little salad lunch. on the side. Yeah. Yeah. You can basically do anything with this. Anything you'd want to do with an omelet or with eggs. Now what's the, what are the origins of quiche? So you would think of quiche as being this classically French dish, which it is. But the region it originated in, the Alsace-Lorraine region, was sort of going back and forth between Germany and France again and again and again and again for hundreds of years. So the quiche actually comes from Kuchen, which is the German word for cake. Um, but the, the French have done their own thing with it and put their indelible stamp on it, as they tend to do with all sorts of Didn't delicious Didn't they originally food. use it actually as the, instead of puff pastry as a base, they used bread? Bread, the yeah. Germans, yeah. But now uh, we use puff pastry generally. Yeah, it's really evolved. Yes. And more ingredients. Or the original was, I think, just bacon and eggs. Don, yeah. Um, and cream. And then it sort of took on the cheese and, and the now onions. It's, and, and now it's taken on everything. You can yes. put actually ev anything, everything but the kitchen sink into your quiche. <laughs> so here we go with demystifying. We are going to get started right now. The first thing we're going to do is talk about the Gruyere. So Gruyere, the classic original cheese that goes into quiche. Now you don't always have to use it, and we'll talk about other cheeses you can use, but this is the original cheese. Now it comes in a block like this. You're not going to find it shredded uh, like you'd find cheddar. So you need to get the block, and then you need to grate it either with your box grater, or I'm going to show you in a minute how to do it in your Cuisinart. You're going to cut it into little blocks like this, and we're going to have you put it right through the Cuisinart, and it's going to take just two seconds. I think Gruyere was used originally because it's very sweet and it's very nutty and it's really a delicious cheese and it's fabulous for melting. So perfect for quiche. It's in uh, chicken cordon bleu, it's in the croque monsieur, which is a French ham and cheese, and of course it's in cheese. What's cheese melted? Fondue. So cheese fondue is classically Gruyere as well. So um, I'm going to show you just in a second about how to grate. Here's your Cuisinart. So, I'm going to show you how easy this is. Take your blade out, get one of your cutting discs, put it together very easily like this. Slide it in. Put your cutter on. Here's your block of Gruyere. And we turn it on. And we'll do one more for you to show you how easy this is and quick. And now I will show you what you have. You have grated Gruyere. Time to demystify. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients that are going into our quiche, and we need a custard. We have our cheese, so the custard is the next thing. I've got three eggs in here, and we want to really get some air into them. So we're going to whisk them until there's a lot of air in here. Work out your aggression on the ice. And then we're going to add, and it's the same every time. You might need a little less liquid if you have a ton of ingredients in there, but it's going to be three quarters of a cup of cream, heavy cream, and three quarters of a cup of milk. And there's your custard. Now, if you want, if you only have half and half in your fridge, put in a, a one and a half cups of half and half. And then you've got your one and a half cups of liquid to your three eggs. And there's your custard.
Well, I'm feeling under pressure right now to come up with a name for it because I've just been referring to it as my favorite quiche. So I guess we can call it countryside French Gruyere shallot thyme quiche, but that might be a little bit of a mouthful, so you can just call it um, mushroom and Gruyere quiche. How's that? So now I'm going to show you my favorite, all-time favorite go-to quiche recipe. I've got shallots, and you can also use sweet onion if you want to substitute that instead. Two shallots, but you can substitute with one small sweet onion. I've got beautiful thyme, which is one of my favorite herbs of all time, haha. -ha. Um, I've got the custard mix, which Auntie just made for you. I've got two cups of Gruyere, and there's some black pepper, there's some garlic, there's some olive oil. I'm going to tell you all about it. Did I forget the mushrooms? I'm going to put a layer of cheese down and it's going to be about one cup. We use two cups in total. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now we're ready for my little mushroom friends. And Now if you get a normal package of mushroom, that can go a long way. That can go as far as two whole pies. I'll show you. This is only half a, a peck. Most mushrooms come in packages that are about this size. So you can use the other half because most of the pie crusts come in packs of two. So you can use the other half to make another quiche. And it can be totally different. So we're just going to spread this out nice and evenly. I'm going to add a little bit more cheese. Then I like to start adding the custard at this point and then more cheese and custard. So here we go. If you want you can put your seasoning in the custard itself but because the mushrooms are so great at soaking up seasoning I thought you know might as well just leave them there. Okay I'm gonna add more cheese. Beautiful. And with the thyme, the sprigs of thyme, when I saute them on the stove, I don't even strip them. I just put them right in there and then I take them out after I'm done. And then I use them, I'll show you what I do, I put them on top and they're a beautiful decoration. So this is about as high as you want it to be. And since there's so much content inside of this quiche, you don't have to worry about it uh, sinking at all. If you have a quiche that's mostly egg and cheese, it will sink a little bit, so you might want to fill, a little, fill it a little more than you normally would. And there you go, this is my beautiful, rustic, classic French go-to quiche. Voila! Now I'm going to show you how to make shoestring quiche. I call it shoestring quiche because if you're on a tight budget, this doesn't cost a lot of money. I get uh, these two vegetables, which I love, zucchini and mushrooms, which both of them are not very expensive. And I find whatever cheese is on sale, so I don't use Gruyere in this recipe because Gruyere is so expensive and I never see it on sale. So I, I picked up some Colby Monterey Jack and they come in two cup packages, which is perfect. And it was on sale, so um, this quiche, again, we told you earlier, is around $7, a little over $7. I take my two zucchini and my eight ounces of mushrooms and I saute them in a pan with a quarter cup of olive oil, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and saute for about 10 to 12 minutes until everything is really soft. And then I separate it into two portions. You can make two quiches from this. And here is one portion that I'm going to use in this quiche. When we're ready to build our quiche, I'm going to take one cup of my Colby Monterey Jack mixture and put it on the bottom. And then I'm going to take my zucchini mushrooms and put them in the middle. If you put them on the top, you can. You can put them on the top, but Sometimes you'll get your veggies kind of burned if they're on the top. So I sandwich them in the middle of the cheese. I take my second cup of cheese, spread it around, pour in my custard, which again is three eggs and one and a half cups of half and half or three quarters of a cup of heavy cream and a three quarters of a cup of milk. And et voila, we have quiche. If you would like to put a little nutmeg on top of this, it really, nutmeg with custard is fabulous. If you have some around, if not, don't worry about it. I'll show you how to make my cheeseburger quiche. I've got only three ingredients here. This is very simple. I buy a pound of ground meat and I saute it with one teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper and a little bit of olive oil. And I actually, this is only half of that. So you, again, can make two quiches from this. I have two cups of shredded cheddar, so we have a cheddar burger basically inside a quiche, and I have my 
standard custard, which is three eggs and one and a half cups of liquid, which can either be half and half or three quarters of a cup of heavy cream and three quarters of a cup of milk. And my deep dish pie shell, and we're ready to go. This is the finished product, and I'm gonna run off with it. <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna layer like we usually like to layer. Cheese on the bottom, about one cup. Spread it around so it's even. And then we're gonna take our beautiful ground hamburger. A little bit of cinnamon, we got a little Greek touch there going. Well, it tastes almost like a little moussaka. Opa. We're gonna take our next cup of cheese on top, spread it around. See how quick you can do this so quickly. And then we take our custard, in we go. Gotta let it sit, soak to the bottom. There it is, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Right up to the top, and we're ready for the oven. Okay, as you see, our little friends are in the oven and they're ready to bake. Just make sure that you have it on the bottom third of the oven because some recipes will say to put it on the, on the middle and it can burn a little bit. So we just like to play it safe. They're down here and they're ready to go. Have your oven at 375 degrees and they cook for about an hour, it depends on your oven. And one good way to check is to take a knife and stick it in the center. If it comes out clean, you're done. But it'll be somewhere around an hour and then let it rest for 15 minutes. I sit back and relax now. And we're going to have a cup of coffee and wait for our quiche.